So what is going on guys, my name is Zero and welcome back to another Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville video here today on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick way that you can get yourself a lot of coins, tacos and experience. I found this technique a few days ago, it does kind of take advantage of the mind blower. So if you do want to complete this quest, first of all you need to have the mind blower unlocked and second of all you need to have talked to the snapdragon to be able to start doing some of the bounty hunts. Now this does seem like some kind of an exploit so I have a feeling it will get patched at some point so I want to make this video now but I'm not guaranteeing that it's going to work forever. So make sure you guys do take advantage of this technique while you can. So there are two places that you can use this method. The first one is at the bounty hunt down near the beach and the second one is at the bounty hunt near the radio station. Now the radio station is much more efficient because the mind blower is a lot quicker. However, it's a little bit more difficult to do and would require two people. Now, every time you complete this, both people will get 2,000 coins and also 10 tacos, but you can also collect tacos from the zombies that you blow up as well. So in total, you can probably get yourself about 2,000 coins and 20 tacos every 30 seconds. So the way that the technique is done at the radio station is that you have one person who is controlling the mind blower and they need to place it in this location. The second player then needs to spawn the bounty hunter and as soon as they spawn, you can blow up the mind blower, instantly killing all three electric slides and completing the bounty hunt. That will get you 2,000 coins, 10 tacos, and about 600 experience. But then, of course, you can keep repeating this process over and over again. Like I said, this one is more difficult and does require two players. You can do it single player as well, but it is much more difficult because they decide to use their abilities to kind of make you uh, fly away with their magnetic thing. So this technique can only be done with two players. However, both players do get both rewards, coins, experience, and taco, so it's something great to do together. If we move down to the beach though, you can still do it with two players and it is more efficient. However, it can still be done on your own. What you would need to do if you want to do it on your own is spawn in the bounty hunt, then run all the way over to where the mind blower is, control the mind blower, send it all the way down, blow the dead beard up, and then run all the way back down to the beach and start the bounty again. So it does take a little bit longer if you are doing it on your own. However, that is also available for people who don't have anyone to play with. If you want to do it with two people though, I believe they get slightly more health. So the person that's spawning the dead beard, it's a good idea to spawn him in, shoot him and do a little bit of damage. And then while I'm on my way down with the mind blower to blow him up, he's lost a little bit of health so that the mind blower will guarantee to blow him up. And then while I'm sending another mind blower down, he can quickly collect the tacos, spawn him in again, do a little bit more damage and blow him up. So you can use both of these methods. The dead beard one is easier because you've only got one target you need to attack, whereas at the radio station you have three. So if you don't put the mind blower in the right place and you don't blow all three of them up, it's gonna take a little bit longer. However, the one at the radio station is much more efficient because the mind blower is a lot closer. And that is the technique that we have to get yourself a bunch of coins, tacos and experience in the game right now very, very quickly. I have a feeling it is going to get patched though, so if you want to make use of this, do it as quick as you can. I want to say a big thank you to HD for helping me with this video being the second player. I'm going to leave his YouTube channel down in the description. He does a bunch of PvZ content. We're going to be doing some more videos in the future, so make sure you go check him out. Make sure you go subscribe and show him some love. But nonetheless, thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero, and I will catch you all in another video.